Hey everyone, if you didn't know already, we have our own peach weed ale at Martin's Brew Pub. And if you're looking for any cool gift ideas, we've got sweatshirts, hoodies, and all kinds of merch with Hello Okanagan logo on it. And thanks to you guys for asking for our song to finally be completed. Check us out now on iTunes and Spotify, Hello Okanagan. And TikTok. Welcome back, Hello Okanaganers. We're doing another off-roading episode this week. So if you've not subscribed to our channel yet, make sure you do that and smash the like button on this video. Peter missed the last episode. We got Fords, we got Toyotas, we got Jeeps. We're going four by four and off-roading. Check it out. Hey everyone, I'm in the back of a Humvee, an H2, with Mike, who's with the Four Wheel Drive Association of BC. Mike, thank you for driving us around. Yeah, glad to have you guys out. What's your YouTube and your Instagram? My YouTube is the Unexpected Off Road, same thing with the Instagram, and uh, put up, try to put out some pretty good content. And then what's the Four Wheel Drive Association exactly? So, Four Wheel Drive Association, we are advocates for for uh, responsible off-roading. We try to keep trail access open for the public, not just for four-wheel drives, for hiking, for everybody. Um, and we do trail cleanups and do trail runs and try to educate people on properly how to use the off-road vehicles. Where are you taking us here today? Today we are going up King Eddy FSR. Hey Mike, the roads uh, sometimes are wide, sometimes they're narrow. What's the road rules if someone's coming up or going down? So if you're on a single track road and a guy is coming down at you, um, that guy has a right away that's coming down the hill at you um, just to be on the safe side. You guys just gotta get off to the side of the road for the guy. David, how was your ride up here so far? Smooth as can be. Yeah, smooth as can we be. aired down to 16 PSI. I learned <laughs> some words that I didn't even know. <laughs> how we doing, Mike? Doing great. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Mike is the one with the Humvee right now that's been taking us up. Who is with us here in this little trip that we're taking? Yeah. And we're out here with a good group of guys. Um, we got Jeep Okanagan with us. Um, they're a local group of Jeeps. And we've got other, a lot of guys from local from Vernon here. And then we also got the gentleman from Sky Off-Roading. Yep, Sky Off-Roading. <laughs> uh, he was with us in our first episode that I missed when we did the off-roading in the winter time. Yeah, we brought more friends this time. Nice, I'm really <laughs> excited about that. Yes, yeah, just a couple more friends. Why don't, we, uh, why don't we turn around and check out the, the lineup we got here down the mountain. <laughs> Starting with the Humvee that we were talking about. So this is an H2? H2. Okay. And we were just talking off camera that Arnold Schwarzenegger back in the late 80s, early 90s, fell in love with Hummers, yeah. and he asked the company that made them if they could make a civilian version, and then it just blew up from there, because everyone in LA saw him rolling down the street, they're like, I want one of those too. thing I love about this community is how they support each other and help each other and if you're stuck they all come running out to help you. 
I'm out of breath already just from climbing up this hill. Well, because you're not wearing the right footwear. You're taking, you're, you're, taking, guy. you're taking four steps for every one we take because you're sliding. You got the heaviest jacket, but you know what? You look good. <laughs> <laughs> There are the three R's of off-roading. What's the three R's of off-roading? Repairing, recovery, rescue. Like this right now. Right, this is re re rescue. We have a live winch line like we do. Yeah. We ask don't step across it. Okay. Because if that you step- that vehicle rolls, this winch line goes taut. Yeah. And if you're standing over it, we've got carotid arteries in our crotch. Yes. We can't save you. Okay, good. What's the signal again? On hook. On hook. Well, your f that kept him, kept him from going up the hill. If anything, I gave more traction. <laughs> this is what happens when you winch not straight. All the rope binds up on one side, so we have to pull this off and re-spool this. But because this winch rope is shorter than normal, yeah, I knew there wasn't enough to damage the winch. So when I was spooling it in and taking up all the slack, I put all the slack on this side because I knew I needed the space on that side. Go too far on this, yeah. you can actually blow the winch apart. Oh, Because it doesn't, it doesn't even notice the load. He was in control, like, yeah. the whole time. Like, I was listening to his commands, because he has the eyes for me. Not only was I in control, yeah. Mike did what I asked, when I asked. And that's really important, because he can't see where his tires are, where everything else is. Yeah. And so a little bit of guidance takes a lot of resistance out of the equation. So what we just experienced right now with the whole team helping you get through a little sticky situation, isn't that what your YouTube channel is all about? Yeah, it's, it's all about being prepared for the unexpected and never knowing what's going to come up and just taking a look at the situation to say, okay, we can tackle this, we can get through it, and it makes for a great day. And what's the YouTube channel, Gun? Uh, the Unexpected Off-Road. Guys, make sure you check out the link below if you're on our YouTube channel right now, the link below. Check out Mike on his YouTube channel as well. So there was one bad that showed us the way around that was leading the crew and it was Jade in her Jeep. How are you doing Jade? Good, how are you? Good. So you're part of the Jeep Okanagan Club. I am. But somebody secretly told me that you're part of a special club as well. What is the other one called? Uh, Dirt Divas Okanagan. Dirt Divas? So yeah. what goes on with Dirt Divas? Dirt Divas is just a group for girls and we all go out and do exactly what we're doing today but it's just for girls. And it's not just Jeeps, it's anything. Um, mostly Jeeps, I would say, but we're not snobs, anybody. Can. We're not snobs. <laughs> You're not Jeep snobs. No. <laughs> and it's throughout the Okanagan? Yes. That's cool. I love the Okanagan. Love there. Yeah. Awesome. So if people wanted to get more info on that club, where would they go? On Facebook. And what's the name of the club again? Uh, Dirt Divas Okanagan. Dirt Divas Okanagan on Facebook. Make sure you check it out. Hey everyone, thanks for following us on social media and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Guess what? We have our own beer and what else do we have? Well guys, we've got our Hello Okanagan merch. Head over to HelloOkanagan.com for all the details and make sure you follow us on Instagram, Facebook and now TikTok, Hello Okanagan. And our song! We have our full song on iTunes and TikTok, so check it out. Thank you. Hey Mike, so do you suggest that if you're gonna go off-roading, everyone should have a radio for security, for emergencies, anything like that? Yeah, I, uh, I would strongly suggest everybody to have a radio, um, not only for communicating between the trucks, but also the resource channels for this road. So if there's a logging truck that's coming down the road at you, you wanna know that that guy is coming at you and you're not gonna get in a terrible accident with him. You know, if something did terribly happen, you wanna be able to radio somebody to get help, you know, if you needed emergency services or something like that, or, or you broke down either way, right?
everyone, so when you were going off-roading on top of a mountain, I tried to wear the proper foot attire and then David wears ballerina shoes. Okay, let's get you on the side here. I learned my lesson Mitchell. from the RC episode with the white shoes. Mitchell. Sue me. Hey guys, we're here with Richard from the Four Wheel Drive Association in the Okanagan here. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Awesome, so tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. Well, I'm the Vice President of the Four Wheel Drive Association. The Four Wheel Drive Association has been around for decades. Uh, we currently have about uh, 4,200 members and are growing rapidly. That Just that many, hey? Just, just about yeah. 4,200. Yeah, not that. I'm not also that on the board of directors, so I'm the Vice President of the Association. We're a not-for-profit organization, um, and we take on projects like rec sites and maintaining rec sites. We do a lot of volunteer work throughout the province, maintaining um, many different sites throughout the province. Uh, where rec sites and trails no longer has the ability to look after them. So oh, we yeah. take them on with uh, partnership agreements with rec sites and trails and go in and start maintaining some of these sites. Some of these sites would be closed without the volunteers from the association because it takes hundreds and hundreds of hours to maintain all these different locations. I'm a novice and I want to get into one of these clubs that I live either in the south or central, wherever I live. Is there a Facebook group that someone can go on to to kind of figure out what's going on in their neighborhood? So the Four Wheel Drive Association of BC has a has a Facebook page. Okay. Uh, but we also have many other sub pages. And they also have segregated ones where it's like just the Jeep guys or maybe just the Toyota guys or whatever it might be, I'm assuming. Yes, that as well. Um, and it's a little harder to find those associations. Uh, do a Google search on or on Facebook yeah. and check out, you know, Toyota 4x4 and you'll get a lot of different information back and you'll be able to find a, a club in your area. And as far as gear, I heard you're the man to talk to about getting gear maybe, or you know where you can set people to? I, <laughs> I do know something about gear. Um, I also have my own company, which is Freedom Recovery Gear. Um, so I manufacture and distribute um, Canadian made winch ropes and straps and things like that. And where do people go to find that? What's the website? Uh, freedomrecoverygear.com. That's freedomrecoverygear.com. Click the link below. Let's go up on another trail. Hey everyone, we made another pit stop so we can chat with Brad from the Jeep Okanagan Club. Brad, thanks for bringing us down here. No problem, thanks so, for the invite. So if someone's got a Jeep and they live in the Okanagan and they want to go off-roading, you're on Facebook, that's where they Facebook. can find you? Facebook, we are a Facebook-based group, yes. Okay, and yeah. then you guys kind of once a week, every day if they want, these if guys can get want, together? If they want, there's always somebody going out, there's always somebody doing something. Yeah. What's the craziest stuff you guys have done so far? Whipsaw. Where's that? Actually, it's a little further south. Uh, it's an all-day event. Actually, it takes about two days to do the trail. I know with the car guys, once a year or twice a year, they have like car rallies and yep. stuff. Is there something like that with the Jeep Okanagan Club? Yes, before COVID happened, there was uh, annual events every year. Uh, next year, we're already planning for next year. Um, the last one we had, we had close to 200 Jeeps involved. Oh, wow. It was a big rally. We ran from Pentecton to Vernon. That's awesome. And we raised money for uh, autism. I love that. Probably one of the most important questions. Where can I get one of those beards? <laughs> it, comes with, it, takes, it comes with the Jeep. It comes with the Jeep. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. It keeps you warm when you're off-roading up high right. in the mountains. So, uh, Skyler, tell us a, bit of, a, a little bit about the uh, the car you got here. This one, uh, this thing goes anywhere, eh? Uh, it should go anywhere. <laughs> put her. It's a 98 Jeep Cherokee on a six and a half inch lift. It's got 33s on it. It's got a glass pack. Other than that, she's stuck. That's awesome, it's man. Stuck, man. So one of the things I realized while we were up here so far is, doesn't matter the type of vehicle, it, it's the driver. It's the you driver. gotta know how to do this. How to like wall climb, how to go through certain big oh, holes yeah. and all that kind of stuff. It's go over logs easy. that we've been doing. With our buddy Andrew, who put this crew together from Saya Offro. Thank you, Andrew, for being here with us. And 
We thought you were going to bring like four or five guys and we had like 16 vehicles, which is awesome. A lot more people interested than I thought. I love it. So uh, what I was talking to Mike and a few of the other guys about, they were teaching me about apps and a book and all that. Where, where did they go to get the trail info? So there's a few different things you can pick from. Uh, the main one that most people use is uh, Gaia GPS and it's just an app that you download. You got to pay for a yearly subscription, but it gives you a bunch of different layers. And how do you spell that? Uh, Gaia, G-A-I-A, -A, Okay. GPS. Yeah, so then you can download a bunch of different layers and different uh, maps. So Backroads Map Book is one that used to have a, be, a, be an open book. And now they've converted it and you can put a layer on the, the app so you can see where everything's at. So, Sweet. Yeah. And you guys are mapping your own trails there too, right? Yeah, I work with a company called Onyx Offroad. They have an app where it's it's open in the States but not open in Canada yet. So they've, they've engaged us to map the area so that they can release the stuff in Canada. Amazing. Yeah. So if people want to get a hold of you and watch your adventures, where do they go? Uh, you can go to Instagram, uh, Saya Offroad. Awesome. So check the link below, guys, and follow our buddy Andrew. Hey, everyone. It's time for an Okanagan update with Elizabeth Flowers. Hello, Okanagan. I'm Elizabeth Flowers, and here's your Okanagan update. Next Wednesday, November 10th, you can catch the Kelowna Rockets as they battle it out against the Kamloops Blazers. The puck drops at 7.05 at Prospera Place. Visit KelownaRockets.com for more information. The Okanagan Women's Expo is back in Kelowna, taking place at Parkinson Recreation Center next weekend. On Saturday, they'll be running from 10 a.m. until 5 p.m. and Sunday, November 14th from 10 a.m. until 4 p.m. This is a great opportunity to take in some luxury home decor items, gift ideas, bath and body products, learn about health and wellness, and just see what kind of services are out there for women. Visit OkanaganWomensExpo.com for more information. In celebration of their 35th anniversary, Project Literacy is holding a short story writing contest. This contest is open to both youth and adults. All entries must be received by midnight December 17th. You have to be living in the Central Okanagan region to participate, so from Peachland to Lake Country. You can visit projectliteracy.ca for more information or email april at projectliteracy.ca. And we are so excited to announce that our very own Mitchell Vandlerberg will be showing his film Spider Island on November 17th at Vernon Town Cinema. Spider Island is a nonprofit film based on the Marvel Comics character. The film was shot primarily in Vernon and all profits will go to benefit the Canadian Mental Health Association. We're so excited to announce that there's going to be multiple showings on November 17th and tickets are available at Eventbrite. You don't want to miss it. That's all for this week's Okanagan update and now we'll go back to the episode. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this episode of Hello Okanagan. Look at the view. First of all, this is why I moved here, but thanks to the team of all the off-roaders that brought us up here, they're the only ones that get a chance to see this, unless you're a bird, I guess. And now us too. Absolutely speechless, guys. Thanks for watching this episode of Hello Okanagan. We'll definitely see you next time.